Hello, the story today from AmericanLiterature.com How the Moon Became Beautiful by Anonymous How the Moon Became Beautiful is a wonderful folk tale, folk tale explaining why it is so happy and bright published in Chinese fables and folk stories 1908 translated by Mary Hayes Jervis and Chow, Chow Liang. I apologize if I read the name incorrect. The moon is very beautiful with his round, bright face with shines with soft and gentle light on all the world of men. But once there was a time when he was not so beautiful as he is now. 6,000 years ago, the face of the moon became changed in a single night. Before that time, his face had been so dark and gloomy that no one liked to look at him, and for these reasons, he was always very sad. One day, he complained to the flowers and to the stars, for they were the only things that would ever look in his face. He said, I don't like to be the moon. I wish I were a star or a flower. If I were a star, even the smallest ones, some great general would care for me, but at last, I am only the moon and no one likes me. If we could only be a flower and grow in a garden where the beautiful earth women come, they would press me in their hair and press my fragrance and beauty. Or if I could even grow in wilderness where no one could see, the birds would surely come and sing sweet songs for me. But I am the only moon and no one honors me. The stars answered and said, We cannot help you. We were born here and we cannot leave our places. We never had anyone to help us. We do our duty. We work all the day and twinkle in the dark night to make the skies more beautiful. But that is all we can do. They added at their smile, coldly at the sorrowful moon. Then the flower smiles really and said, We do not know how we can help you. We live always in one place, in a garden near the most beautiful maiden in all the world. As she is kind to everyone in trouble, we will tell her about you. We love her very much, and she loves us. Her name is Tech and now <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the name. <laughs> Still the moon was sad. So one evening he went to see the beautiful maiden. Tish now <laughs> And when he saw her, he loved her at once. He said your face is very beautiful. I wish that you would come to me, and that my face would be as your face. Your motions are gentle and full of grace. Come with me and we will be as one and perfect. I know that even the worst people in all the world would have only to look at you, and they would love you. Tell me, how did you come to be so beautiful? I have always lived with those who were gentle and happy, and I believe that is the cause of beauty and goodness. Answer, Teshne, Cheshno. I'm so apologetic. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce the name. And so the moon went every night to see the maiden. He knocked on her window, and she came. And when he saw how gentle and beautiful she was, his love grew stronger, and he wished more and more to be with her always. One day, Chenil said to her mother, I should like to go to the moon and live always with him. Will you allow me to go? Her, her mother thought so little of the question that she made no reply, and Chenil told her friends that she was going to be the moon's bride. In a few days, she was gone. Her mother searched everywhere but could not find her, and one of 
Janoy's friend said, She has gone with the moon, for he asked her many times. Again a year passed by, and Janoy, the gentle and beautiful earth maiden, did not return. Then the people said, She has gone forever, she is with the moon. The face of the moon is very beautiful now. It is happy and bright and gives a soft, gentle light to all the world. And there are those who say that the moon is now like Tanoid, who was one the most beautiful of all earth maidens. The end. <laughs> it is funny because I worried about pronounce the woman's name. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Bye.